The ongoing U.S. gun control debate has turned its attention to what type of arms that people should be allowed to bear and uh, how they obtain them. But it would all be academic if people had the ability to bypass any restrictions and produce firearms without even leaving their homes. Well, thanks to the technological magic of 3D printing, what at first sounds like science fiction could soon become science fact. RT's Marina Pontnaya reports. From the State of the Union in Youngstown, Ohio, where new workers are mastering the 3D printing that has the potential to revolutionize the way we make almost everything. To a store in Soho, New York, 3D printing technology has officially gone mainstream. The demand is much greater than our supply right now, and we're actually ramping up and expanding rapidly to meet that demand. This 3D printing company, MakerBot, opened its first retail store last year. It is selling its newly released Replicator 2 desktop for just under $2,200. Using a plastic material, the machine deposits ultra-thin layers to form any object that can be molded in software. Welcome to the world of independent manufacturing. So this stretch bracelet took about 16 minutes to make, but other objects that are a bit bigger, like this cupcake gift box, took about 15 hours of printing. Now, while the time may vary, anyone with a 3D desktop printer can essentially make anything that they want. Our website, Thingiverse, is a repository for 3D printed items. We have more than 40,000 items on Thingiverse that are free and downloadable. And one of our terms of service is that you cannot upload anything that is deemed a weapon. This is where 25-year-old Cody Wilson enters the picture. A group of friends and I started a project called Defense Distributed. We wanted to use a 3D printer to print a gun and release the files open source. The Texas law student has already printed a 30-round magazine and lower receiver that houses the bolt for an AR-15. And he's reportedly working on completing a rifle with a 3D printer. His blueprints for guns and gun parts are distributed for free on his website. What I'm doing is showing people, okay, this is something that can be done right now. Right now, the self-described market anarchist has thrown a major wrench into America's gun control debate. How's that national conversation going? It was a debate that started in December after 20 children and six adults were shot dead at a Connecticut elementary school. Overwhelming majorities of Americans, Americans who believe in the Second Amendment, have come together around common sense reform, like background checks that will make it harder for criminals to get their hands on a gun. Meanwhile, just last month, Wilson became a federally licensed gun manufacturer and dealer. They're bypassing the debate. They're rendering the debate irrelevant. Uh, whatever laws may come out of this discussion, um, this sort of ability to manufacture objects, including firearms on a localized, centralized basis, means that the law really won't matter. Um, the law may say that something is illegal, but if you can turn to a device that's on your desktop and manufacture that at will with nobody knowing that you've done so, then the law doesn't matter at all. With a reported 300 million guns in circulation, the U.S. has the highest rate of gun ownership in the world and the second highest rate of deaths by firearms among industrialized nations. And just as lawmakers are finalizing new legislation that would tighten the nation's all-too-easy access to firearms, experts claim that technology will ultimately outpace their meager efforts at gun control. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.